All right, so a couple weeks ago, Intel sends me this laptop and they say it's got their 11th gen CPU in there. They're very proud of it, but it's an engineering sample. So here's the thing. I get engineering samples in once in a while and I show them to you guys, right? I get the device, but usually there's some kind of restriction that comes along with the device. It's like, Dave, you can show them what it looks like. You can poke it, you can touch it, but don't run benchmarks. Don't show them the kind of early engineering sample benchmarks because it's not finalized. But this time they send me this device and like, we don't care. You can show them everything, show them anything you want because we're so proud, we're so confident in what this thing can do that not only will I be impressed, my, my audience will also be impressed. So I fire it up and I gotta say, this is unprecedented, it, just straight up. Be, between me and you, Intel don't listen to this. For the past like five years, every time Intel comes up with a new chip, it's like 5% better, 10% better, 5% better. It's always these like incremental improvements that as a reviewer, it's, it's tough, right? Like how do you, I'm not even trying to market anything or sell anything to you guys. It's like, how do you review something that has been improved so fractionally, right? It just feels so stupid sometimes to be like, this is the ninth gen, this is the 10th gen, it's like 5% better. This is like, we're talking in some cases, double the performance or like over double the performance from the previous generation. It's something I just, you just gotta see. So what makes this thing special? What makes this whole thing tick? The reason why I'm so excited about this product is the graphics card. It's running this new Intel XE chip. This thing's heavily hyped, heavily anticipated, and it promised double the performance of what the previous generations offered. And holy smokes, it delivers. Okay, just the benchmarks. You can play games on this laptop with similar performance to like an MX350 from NVIDIA, like a dedicated discrete GPU from NVIDIA. It's crazy. It is so much better than anything they've had in the past. And the thing that I find most surprising is like we've known Intel's been working on this stuff, right? We knew that they were working some kind of graphic project. I didn't think it'd be this good in its first iteration. Like, right? Normally when companies do stuff like this, their first or second generation, like it just lags behind the competition. This is weirdly good gaming performance from a thin and light ultrabook. Like I would comfortably play competitive Overwatch on this thing. The only thing that's holding it back for me is the screen, right? This is a regular 60 Hertz panel, but this is not an official product. This is just something to showcase the CPU and the GPU, but holy smokes, you just, this is not what Intel ever delivers, right? They don't bring stuff out like this very often. So this is special. Now the CPU is also quite impressive. It's been bumped up in performance from the 10th gen by a very noticeable amount. The whole package is just a way better platform for everything, like for gaming, for video editing, everything is just so much better than you would expect on a thin and light ultrabook from Intel. It's still running only four cores and eight threads. So if you're running applications that can take advantage of a lot of cores, this won't perform as well as something like a Ryzen that's an eight core CPU. But the GPU on this thing is just so much better than what AMD is offering right now. It is really special. For years, we've been seeing these incremental mediocre upgrades from them. And I think what they needed was AMD to make those Ryzen 7 chips and it just lit a fire under their butt and they make something like this. That's just so much better than anything they've put out in years. So this is the 11th gen Intel i7 and it's been packaged into this engineering sample by MSI. It's not like an official retail product, but there's a couple things I noted. Number one, fan noise is very quiet, like weirdly so. If my memory serves me correct, this machine, like I recognize this chassis as like the MSI 14, the Prestige, it only has a single fan. And from what I can, I'm not allowed to open this thing, but from what I can see, it's running a single fan, which means that if this chip was put into a really well cooled system, this is gonna push out even better numbers. Number two, so normally when you have like an NVIDIA GPU, if you run your system without the AC adapter plugged in, it's gonna run at a slower clock. Like the GPU is a little bit slower and the whole system is just not as powerful as when it's plugged up to your AC adapter. This does not have that problem because it's an integrated GPU. The performance is still really good when it's unplugged. And in some cases it's identical. So I'm very excited about these new chips from Intel. They have support for like Wi-Fi 6 on board. It's got uh, Thunderbolt 4 support, PCIe 4. Like the whole thing is just, it's a nice upgrade this year. And I think they're gonna have a good year with their mobile chips. But that's an early look at the 11th gen stuff from Intel. What do you think? Think it's cool? Let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it. 
Subs if you loved it. I'll see you guys next time.